You are about to see the recreation of an accident that occurred on May 22, 2020, in Karachi, Pakistan. The aircraft involved was an Airbus A320 flown by Pakistani International Airlines. The original animation was masterfully created by the Flight Channel and has been edited by Captain Art Sampson to include an analysis of the human factors involved in this tragedy. Though a final accident investigation report has not been released, a very thorough report has been issued by Kieran Byrne of the Royal Aeronautical Society in the United Kingdom. Data from that report is referred to here. PIA Flight 8303 departed Lahore for Karachi at approximately 1 p.m. Weather was clear and favorable. PIA's most senior pilot was in command. The time and route was roughly one and a half hours, and though the flight proceeded without incident, the report notes that a variety of irregular crew behaviors occurred, including non-standard crew resource management. Upon approaching Karachi, the crew prepared for a straight-in approach to runway 26 left. Again, for reasons unknown at this time, the crew remained well above the approach profile until just before touchdown. For instance, air traffic control cleared 8303 to cross a waypoint called Mockley at 3,000 feet. However, at Mockley, the aircraft was descending through 10,000 feet, at which time the flight data recorder notes that the landing gear and speed brakes were extended, likely in an effort to add drag to increase the rate of descent. Several times throughout the remaining descent, the air traffic controller advised them to perform a 360-degree turn in order to facilitate additional descent. The captain refused to comply, and in the actual audio, the captain can be heard assuring the controller that they are established on the approach. We are uh, comfortable, we can make it sure. so We are uh, comfortable now and uh, we are out of uh, 3,500 for 3,000 established island 25 left. The flight data recorder apparently shows the landing gear and speed brakes being retracted at approximately 1,700 feet on the final approach. It is worth noting that the landing gear may not ever have extended because the airspeed was too great. My speculation is that the co-pilot acted independently in raising the gear without notifying the captain. Throughout the remainder of the entire event, the configuration warning chime can be heard sounding in the background. Too low. 30. Too low. Gear. 20. Retard. Too low. Gear. Too low. Gear. Too low. Gear. Too low. Gear. Obviously, the aircraft continued the approach, drifted far down the runway, and eventually touched down on both engine nacelles.
upon initiating the missed approach and commencing a left downwind turn, smoke apparently was visible emanating from both engines. The situation unraveled rapidly thereafter as both engines failed while 8303 turned toward the airport. For reasons unknown, the landing gear was extended once again, greatly impeding the gliding range of the crippled aircraft. Unavoidable tragedy ensued as the aircraft flew into a densely populated area less than a mile from the runway. This accident should come as no surprise. The European Aviation Safety Agency had suspended PIA's right to serve European destinations. Notably, their safety management system was deemed non-compliant with international standards. In the words of one aviation authority, this is the worst aviation human factors disaster of all time. The contributing factors are too numerous to discuss in this context.